you know, I spoke to a few people today. I wasn't planning on doing another one of these uh, for a few days, but uh, I noticed uh, right now is a real danger um, in terms of interior spiritual life. It seems uh, there's uh, so many people of goodwill and uh, they're easily, it seems, um, captivated by things that can hurt the spiritual life and, and pretty fast. Uh, you know, I'm doing these like I was doing the daily reflections in writing. I'm just tired of typing. Um, but also, I, I've written a lot of songs over the years. Like, and I was going to do one, and then this song came to mind. It's called Living in the Present. And I wrote this when I was living at the Travis Monastery. I spent two years living there as a hermit, working on a book with another hermit who uh, was a mentor of mine. And, and uh, yeah, it's called Living in the Present. And uh, it was a lot of my songs I'm realizing were really prophetic. You know, I, I, did, I, I took them, you know, as just for myself. So I, I haven't published them or, or recorded them until recently. I put some on Bandcamp, but um, just for friends and whatnot. Anyhow, um, what happens is our attention is all we got, okay? Like, uh, I'm going to say a couple of quick, quick things about the interior spiritual life and the psychology of it. Because... Uh, all we have to give to God is our desire. And to do that, we have to give Him our attention. And everything is, is vying for our attention. And we're stupid often. We give our attention to things that don't help us at all. And uh, especially when things are curious, you know, like when we're curious about things. And I think we've been trained to think of reality as um, the TV shows, like um, reality TV. We watched it for years and years and years. It blurs the line between, you know, how we're to relate to reality in, in, in truth. Because uh, reality, what we live in the present, is not entertainment. And uh, it's so easy to get caught up in the story as if it was entertainment. And um, when I asked people, I had someone talk to me today and they were looking for some spiritual guidance and insight into what was going on and they didn't have a great, great day because there were some upsetting things and whatnot. Most of it came from uh, engaging in following what's going on in the Ukraine and, and other places. And, you know, we just can't do anything about that. I mean, uh, the truth is we could take 10 minutes and catch up um, at the early evening or whatever. I wouldn't recommend it late, late at night, like, because it might be upsetting to go to sleep. Some of the news isn't very good. Um, but what we need to be doing right now is realizing that if we're not giving our desire to God, we're in trouble. Because everything's a bit of loyalty. And um, we don't get any power, uh, we don't get any peace, and we don't get any joy if we're not uh, giving our desire to God. And to do that, we have to be in control of our attention. And to, to be in control of our attention, you have to understand the psychology of uh, the interior life. So we got to stay out of the imagination. We got to stop speculating. And we got to stop trying to answer questions that are impossible to answer. And quite frankly, are just a, kind of an insult to our claim to uh, trust uh, in, in Jesus. So 
this song is kind of almost like I wrote it for myself and it was an inspiration for me in the early early years of my own spiritual journey and but it's really fitting uh, for what I think a lot of people are going through right now we need to quiet down because we cannot hear God in the noise of CNN and uh, CBC and uh, for that matter even the legislative assembly is poison anyhow I may forget a few words if I do sue me as the days go by we love to go wandering by So 